فين القهوة ونارا حجار ميك ركاب كاب دي قاو نقتي ودين تحيري خورا ما ما تجيب تماكشي Ursul, in the south, only leaders are allowed to speak. You must take my place. I can't do that. It is a good time to cross blades with me. I am weak. I am an easy kill, Modi. I'd rather cut off my own hand. We need you. We need the Lisangal Gaib to lead our people. You know what I think of all that, Stolgar? I don't care what you believe. I believe. Courage is doing what you'd rather not do, but what needs to be done. Woo! I got goosebumps. <laughs> there was a movie I just recently saw, and I've seen this movie quite a few times because it just really infused me with more purpose. The movie is called Dune Part Two, and in this movie, there's a character named Paul Atreides, and Paul is consistently having these reoccurring dreams. And his biggest fear is laid out in these reoccurring dreams. It's like a lucid dream, but it's almost, it's like a nightmare. And Paul is having this reoccurring nightmare of, of going south in the land of Arrakis, this desert land, this desert planet. And he sees famine. He sees suffering. He sees people starving. He sees people dying. Men, women, children, families, elderly, old, young, all ages, all stages. People just dying, right? If he goes south. So he says to his encampment, he says to his troops, he says to his comrades, when they ask him, they say, Paul, the leaders are going south. We, we must go south. But no one else has had his vision. No one else has had his dream. No one else has had the premonition that if he goes south, it all ends. And someone asked him about his vision. They said, is it because you lose control? He said, no. It's because I gain it. It's because I maintain it. That was the grand revelation. That was the grand realization in his dream. It's because I gain control. That's where everything suffers, where everything ends. Things turn topsy-turvy, right? And they said, Paul, we must go south. The leaders are going south. He, and he pleaded with them. He said, I cannot go south. But then he knelt down. When it all came to the ground, he knelt down. And he had another vision and he said, okay, he embraced his purpose. He embraced being in service. He let go of feeling nervous. And he said, okay, they deserve it. They deserve a leader who believes he is worth it, right? Fine, I'll go south. I'll do what must be done. And that's what he told his partner in the movie. Her name was Chani. And he, he was crying. Tears were coming down his eyes. You know? He said, I'll take you and the, and the other followers. I'll take you and the, the troops. I'll take you south. And then I will do what must be done. Right? I will do what must be done. So when in your life have you had to do what must be done? When in your life have has your back been up against the wall when you're feeling it all, right? When, even if you fall, that you still stand tall in life. What is a demonstration of true courage? Let's see here. What does it say for us? What does it say for us here? 
Courage and bravery. Courage is the willful strength to fight and the mindfulness to understand why you are fighting. Bravery is the strength of character that allows you to overcome. Be courageous enough to hold on to the fights that you need to, but brave enough to let go of what is not worth fighting for. For as they say, courage is not the absence of fear, but moving forward in spite of your fear. It is not when fear is not here, <laughs> but to still move forward when fear is drawing near. So thank you so much for listening. I trust that you have courage with all the things that you need to. That you can keep on going to the places you proceed to. May you find true success. Let go of the stress and feel even more blessed by being courageous. For this is your book of life. <laughs> and you are turning the pages. Right? New levels, new devils. And brand new stages. This has been Jerome Shaw. Much love.